Hello everyone, it's Bon and welcome back to my channel. So February is usually the coldest month here in Calgary where I live. And around this time, sometimes we get frosts in the evening. And in the morning, you'll see that the trees are all covered with this really white snow and it's just really nice to look at. Even if it was minus 19 degrees this past weekend, I decided that I would go out and shoot some winter scenes here in Calgary. So I decided to go to Nose Hill Park, which is a nature reserve in the middle of the city. And I was just walking around and I thought I would bring my medium format camera, which is a Fuji GW690, which takes 6 by 9 millimeters negatives. So that means you get a lot of um, details in it, and it's just really nice to look at. That said, because they're really huge negatives, out of a 120 roll of film, you will only get eight shots. So since it was cold and I didn't want to freeze, I thought it'd be a nice amount of photos to take when I'm outside. So I just have eight and then I'll take some shots and finish the whole roll in one go and develop it. So in this video, I just wanted to show you how I put film on this GW690 and how you take it out and then how I developed it. Um, so yeah, just sit down, grab some tea, enjoy the show, and hope you like the photos because I think some of them are really nice. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. So here's the camera. Again, it's a Fuji GW690 Mark II and the lens is a 90mm f3.5 aperture which is pretty nice. It's kind of a standard uh, focal length for medium format. And here it is. You open it up by pulling on this knob here or a hook, whatever that is. <laughs> for this project, I decided to use the Ilford Delta 400 because I have some lying around. If you're new to medium format photography, basically it uses a different film um, that's bigger than the one that you usually see in your drugstores um, because those are 135 film or 35 millimeters. This one is a little bit bigger but there's something that's even bigger, large format ones. But medium format you can still get it and it's usually called a 120 roll of film. To properly load your film into the GW690 Mark II, you have to make sure that this arrow lines up with a red dot on top here. And this just makes sure that you will get 8 shots if you are using a 120 film. Okay, so once that's loaded, you just make sure that you wind your film until you reach number one on the film counter. Also, you have to make sure that you also put the knob to 8 exposure over 120. And that's pretty much it. So like I said, I brought this camera over to Nose Hill Park, which is a nature reserve here in Calgary. And as you can see in here, it's pretty much kind of covered in snow and it was really cold, um, but it's really nice. Okay, so once you've finished your eight shots, if you're using a 120 roll of film, you just have to make sure that you keep on winding the film until there's no more resistance from inside. So when you're opening the camera, just be careful because 120 films don't come in canisters. It's just basically a roll of paper um, if you're not familiar with it. 
In this camera, you can pull underneath in here, and this allows you to take out the film much easier. Just like that. For black and white film, I usually develop it at home. I use the Ilford DDX developer. And for fixer, I use the Ilford Ilfatech fixer. If you're not familiar with developing at home, I'm going to be linking some really good tutorials um, here on YouTube as well in the description down below. To digitize my negatives, I use the DSLR method where I use a DSLR with a macro lens and a light box to take a photo of the negative so I can then load it to Photoshop and Lightroom um, to do some tinkering with it. As you can see in here, you can actually really get a lot of details from the 6x9mm negatives and they're just really nice and crisp. So yeah, um, I'm not going to be talking anymore, I'm just going to be letting you watch all the photos that I took and some of my adventures in the cold. So yes, like I said, it was really cold that day, but I think it was really worth it that I went out to take all of these photos because I, I think some of them are really nice. Um, so yeah, even if winter is really cold, I hope you can agree with me that sometimes it can make for some really nice sceneries and if you haven't experienced the Alberta winter, maybe you should come by, check it out. So yeah. And that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching it. If you liked it, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. I will see you guys next time. Cheers.